name is Kelly Girardi. I'm 26 years old, and I work in the commercial space flight industry. In the entire history of man's exploration of space, only 600 people or less have been to space. So that's why I'm so excited by commercial space flight companies, ones that are really pioneering suborbital spacecraft and flights for people like us who can hope to uh, achieve that same dream one day. My personal passion within space is space settlement. I don't think it's enough for us to just go to space. I think we need to go there with the intent to stay. The very simple fact is that one day Earth will cease to support life. So NASA, as well as a lot of commercial entities, are looking at Mars as sort of that next giant leap for mankind. Today, in 2015, for the first time, this is no longer just science fiction. These, this is just science, and these are questions that the most intelligent people on Earth are putting their heads together to try to come up with answers to. The digital revolution has been absolutely key to this new generation of spaceflight. With the evolution of technology like smartphones and taking all of that information into, and plugging it into a very small device, suddenly the weight of a payload goes down and the cost of launch for a small company goes down. So it's really sparked quite a revolution. I feel really fortunate to be working and having my career where it is in 2015 because about 10 years ago I probably couldn't be operating the way I do now, which is splitting my time between my home and my husband in New York City and my rocket facility in Mojave, California. But having the ability to telecommute or to dial in and to be always connected to my team, it allows for this sort of life balance that I've been able to maintain for the past few years that I'm so grateful for. You know, it's a problem that I've never had a female boss, and I don't have many female role models that are pathfinders in an industry like mine who can sort of give me an example of what does it look like to be a successful woman in this industry? Are you able to have children and still think about going to space? What does your risk profile look like as a, a modern woman in aerospace? So I think it would be uh, certainly helpful to have that, and you know, the best thing that I can do is try to be that for someone else. I'm extremely active on social media and to have so many interactions from people who either say that they're inspired by that or that's what they want to do or a direct message from young women around the world who are saying, I want to work in this field. There's no hesitance on their part to reach out to me and I love that. The number one thing that I care about is making sure that in my lifetime I see boots on Mars. They don't necessarily have to be my own but I want to see them. And until that happens, I'm going to continue to dedicate all of my time to make it happen. That's really my passion. And in the spirit of the Women's Forum, that's what energizes me.